Prologue February 1975 The W Game Park is not well known, and this became apparent when we arrived at its entrance. We didn't have to pay a fee, and the so-called gamekeepers paid very little attention to us as we sailed past them. The track was in an appalling condition, and often our right of way was obscured by the tall elephant grass growing on either side of us. It was late afternoon, and we were travelling along a particularly rough piece of road, with deep ditches on either side of us, when Patty suddenly stated calmly, I don't think we're going to make it. Anthony and I thought she was referring to a dip in the road ahead of us, but suddenly the Land Rover began to slope slowly to the left as the road gave way beneath it. It continued to go in this direction, almost in slow motion, until we came to a halt, the three of us leaning in a tidy row against the left-hand door, with poor Patty being squashed to nothing, me next and Anthony on top of us both. We all crawled out of Antony's door and stared in disbelief at the scene before us. The Land Rover was leaning at a forty-five degree angle in a four-foot hole, with the front left wheel being the only one touching solid ground. We had a quick look around our home and, with relief, saw no obvious damage apart from a small hole that had been made by a piece of wood piercing the left side. We got some food from the Land Rover and what we needed for the night, and then completely unloaded the roof rack and brought down all the jerry cans. We proceeded to build ourselves a good fire, made supper, and then, when it grew dark, arranged ourselves around the fire. Anthony was on first shift, his mission to keep the fire alight. Patty and I crawled into our sleeping bags and sleepily watched the flickering firelight. It was then just as we were becoming drowsy, that the peace was shattered by our old friends, the lions, roaring into the stillness of the night. Maybe it was because it was dark and otherwise so silent that made them seem so close. But suddenly, as another one roared from the other side of us, we knew that dark or light, silent or otherwise, they were close.